There are so many ways of earning the mercy of Allah Almighty. But in a nutshell, we just need to be upright. We earn the mercy of Allah. When you greet each other properly, Assalamu Alaikum, and the reply comes, Wa Alaikum as -salam. That itself, you earn the mercy of Allah. Did you ever know, I spoke of Salatul Fajr, I want to give you a life-changing hadith. Life-changing hadith. You ready to hear it? The hadith in Sahih Muslim says, when a person comes early for salah and sits in the masjid waiting for salah, the angels keep repeating Allahumma ghafir lahu, Allahumma rahamhu, Allahumma ghafir lahu, Allahumma rahamhu, Allahumma ghafir lahu, Allahumma rahamhu. Oh Allah forgive him, oh Allah have mercy on him, oh Allah forgive him, oh Allah have mercy on him. Why? You came early, you are sitting and you are waiting for the farad. Allahu Akbar. Isn't it life changing? All of us, myself included, we are guilty. Last minute I'm here. What time is Salah, by the way? Quarter past one. 14 minutes and 35 seconds, I'm just rolling into the door. It happens, me included. I'm not, why should I deny that? But come on, isn't it life changing? Today when I read the hadith this morning, I told myself I need to do better. I must come early because I want the angels to say, Allahumma ghafir lahu, Allahumma rahamu. Every single day, the day I die, whoa, may Allah grant us a death in sujood. Amin, amin. I mean, my brothers, my sisters. So come five minutes early for salah, 10 minutes early. May Allah give me the energy to do that. Why? It's not compulsory, but don't you want the mercy of Allah? Here's the angel saying, oh Allah, have mercy on him. Come on. May Allah Almighty grant us the goodness. So good news to those who come early to the masjid for all the prayers. And I want to end with something amazing also. On a Friday, that same narration which speaks about Allahumma ghafir lahu, Allahumma rahamu goes one step higher. The angels are standing at the doors of the masajid throughout the world. إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ الْجُمُعَةِ وَقَفَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ عَلَى بَابِ الْمَسْجِدِ يَكْتُبُونَ الْأَوَّلَ فَالْأَوَّلِ All the masajid on earth, come Friday morning, the angels are standing at the doors. What are they writing? Who came first? Who came second? Who came third? Who came fourth? Khalas. When the Imam gets up onto the mimbar, they close their books and they want to listen to the khutbah too. Allahu Akbar. So technically your salah is done, your khutbah is done. But if you arrived after the Imam got up on the mimbar, perhaps that competition that was there, your number's not even there. You know, when you're running the marathon, the Iron Man, mashallah, even if you come hundredth, you're a champion man. The fact that you took part in that Iron, you can say, hey, I was part of the, you know, the, the, the marathon. They'll tell you, hey, wow, they look at you. You came last, my brother. But they look at you and say, that guy's hot, man. He was like, Iron Man. This guy took part in the Iron Man, right? And you got your T-shirt and you got your certificate. But no one knew that when you were swimming across the five kilometer stretch, you were dead. You were cursing. Whatever was happening, they don't mind. The fact that you took part, you're a champion. The same applies. In fact, it's a better example in the, in the case of the Dean of Allah. The fact that you came and you were part of the championship, even though you were last, my brother, my sister, you made it. You made it to the book. May Allah grant us goodness. I pray that that can encourage myself and yourselves to come a bit early.